Some folks put a lot of stock in miles. They figure that unless you go farther faster, well, then you ain't worth much. But around these parts, we have a saying. It's not about how many miles you do. It's what those miles do to you. <laughs> oh, yeah. This is hogging. Hogging's nothing new. Old timers have been doing it for years. It takes a special breed to go hogging. One needs a tremendous amount of gumption, the stubbornness of a mule, and no little amount of blind faith. You should also enjoy a good joke, or at least be in the bottom <laughs> one. We basically got to Lillooet this morning and found out there's a 5,000 hectare fire raging out of control. This area has all been evacuated. And we've been planning this for months, and now we're changing the whole plan. We're going to go way west, away from the fires. And Dude, we... that zone is the sickest zone I've ever been in. That was like 15 years ago. I've, I've never been there. I've always wanted to do it. Oh, there's bears there, man. <laughs> North Joe Cones are 230 bears, and they're concentrated right there. I'm not really worried. <laughs> Brotherhood, blind faith, and bears. That pretty much sums up hogging, if you ask me. Repacking for like the fourth time here. I'm trying to omit things. How many coffees are you bringing? 36. Two bottles of whiskey. What is it? 37. Oh! 38. Oh. 44. 40 pound backpack. Happy birthday to you. Oh my you. god. It's always the hardest part, isn't it? Really putting the bag on and then that first pedal stroke with it. Oh god. Now for those of you who have never been hogging before, bike packing in the chill coatings takes on a whole new meaning. This is grueling. That was a gnarly rat's nest. Oh, there goes a shoe! Over at the top of this thing. Everyone else is still coming up to you. <laughs> I think we're at 13 hours, maybe, and we're just about to drop into our first real descent of the whole day. A birthday anybody could ever ask for. Yeah, yeah. team, man. Right on, yeah. It's raining again. We're like nine hours into this day. I don't know if we're gonna make it tonight. That was a hard one. 11 hours almost. And the bugs are super gnarly right now. It's part of the hog. I think everyone kind of broke a little bit today. Just a little bit. We just spotted three grizzlies up on the hill. It's definitely cool to watch them do their thing up there right now. The bears just keep getting a little closer. We heard them roaring in the bush, which was pretty crazy. Pretty real out here right now. Getting out there mentally, being on bear patrol. Pushes are as high as your shoulders. Slowly back just got way more real with the bear right behind Kenny. He sat down in his little marmot hole. We're gonna let him have that one. up today. Hopefully going to a little cowboy cabin. We're just getting to the end of Cotch Creek. We came from that saddle. What happened? Fucked up and fell off the <laughs> bank. <laughs> wow, that's savage, dude! <laughs> Forty-five minute cruise. It's like it's turning into a maybe three-hour blowdown mission. Hey! Whoa! Hey! It's just on the other side of that slash. 
Yeah, uh, I don't know, but it was fucking loud and fast. I'm surrounded by fucking grizzlies. <laughs> Everybody the judgment call. Let's pull over and die. Everybody run for the judgment call. Grab some water. This is the last spot. Cause the sky is falling down. Oh. Everybody runs for the judgment call. Oh, Jeez, dude. Trout Lake. The bugs and the miles sure can take a toll on a fella. After a week of climbing mountains, dodging bears, and outrunning thunderstorms, you gain a new outlook on life. You won't go back on the things that you said. You bleed your heart out, and it takes every job. And just about the time you figure you're done with the mountains, the mountains let you know they aren't done with you. Look at these things. Jesus. The river is overflowing, so we just can abandon ship. Oh, that river <laughs> fucking came up fast. Yeah, dude, I tried to go through there and it was like, oh, I'm... oh yeah, mini golf. The mountains can spin you around and knock you on your ass if you let them. There's not many things in life that'll do that to you. And I'm guessing that's what brings these fellows out here, being knocked down a peg or two. We came from, I don't know, way out there somewhere. And uh, we're trying to camp at the top of Cunningham tonight. Nine hours in. Oh, it's been a long day, man. <sighs> yeah! Woo! Top of the world. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> now the thing about a mountain is once you're at the top, all the hard work is done. Uh, we got in here late last night. This is what we're waking up to. Just a 2,500 meter descent back to the truck. I don't know if I want to go home yet, but the general consensus is that we got beers in the truck, so I'm okay with that. People ask, what is hogging? These guys will tell you it's getting off the couch and pushing yourself just a little farther than common sense should allow. Doing things just to see if you can and taking your lumps with a shit-eating grin. <laughs> oh, that was good. Oh, yeah. That was good. If you ask me, it looks like hogging is just being greedy. Riding every mountain in front of you and leaving nothing untouched for the next poor soul. 
I'm not sure if that's a bad thing or not. Not really for me to judge. One thing's for certain. In the mountains, they never stood a chance. Yeah.